Peace, love, and light family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope that you're living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages at this time. Okay, I've been led to check in to see what are you, uh, what are some things that you are manifesting at this time? <laughs> and speaking of manifestation, <laughs> the magician shows up. Okay. Magician shows up. Um, see the five of swords also showing up. For some of you, there may be a lot of things on your mind, a lot of concerns. Okay, so we're gonna ask what are some things that you are manifesting? Um, especially the last the last uh, week of Scorpio season, which goes until the 23rd, I believe, November 23rd. Okay. All right. Show us the energy for Scorpio for things that are being manifested in Scorpio's life. Mm. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is definitely one thing that uh that's showing up this is an energy of a lot of light this is an energy of <laughs> this is an energy of manifestation actually you are you are manifesting and and uh specifically i'm getting this energy of you mastering the art of manifesting you being <laughs> the light bearer and whenever i see this card it always gives this energy of an ascended master someone who may have been here before someone who sees through many worlds and many dimensions and perhaps this is what the divine is doing for you at this time is there are a lot of dimensions realms things that you're tapping into Okay, the divine wants you to know that this is an energy of abundance. The pentacles, which is an energy of abundance. This is um, this is you actually bringing light to <laughs> to everything that you've always wanted. So starting off, the energy is that you're getting everything that you've always wanted. All right. The very first question that was asked was, what are the things that are being manifested? What are some things that you're going to be seeing, especially the last week of Scorpio season? And the first energy that comes up is that you get to know that you are manifesting everything you've always wanted. Okay, this is not one, not two, not three. Everything that you've always wanted. And as you can see, the magician showed up you know the magician basically crowned the reading okay um the magician showed up you know first and not only that you see the number that's showing up eight eight is a number of manifestation eight is the number of infinity eight is a number of the infinite possibilities that are there for you that is being brought forth during this last week of scorpio season in order for you to elevate yourself and to do the work that you are meant to do okay <laughs> so right off you know the spirit guides are saying yes you are going to be manifesting and not only are you going to be manifesting you're going to be manifesting everything you've always wanted eight of pentacles showing up showing out letting you know exactly who you are you are a master manifester you are an ascended master this is what i'm hearing um a divine light being look at how much light is coming forth here like it, you have like all the colors of the rainbow showing up this is like all possibilities all things that you could possibly think to manifest is coming towards you let's get some in, more information uh regarding um this eight of pentacles energy okay eight of pentacles energy let's see let's see what's showing up for you 
eight of pentacles so right off the divine is letting you know look out for the signs okay so this may be letting you know huh there's a bridge there's a bridge uh bridging the gap the divine is letting you know, you know that the gap is being bridged for you whatever was missing some of you um there's something that you may have wanted or needed in order for you to do something uh there's there may be a project that you're working on and there was a piece missing uh the pieces are being they're they're being found they're being put together i'm hearing that the you know there's there's something about bridging the gap okay so it's like if this bridge was the thing that's missing for you to get to the other side of that abundance to the other side of that new beginning the divine is letting you know that the the bridge is being it's like the bridging the gap okay uh the bridge is being extended for you you're gonna get the bridge okay or the bridge is being cleared if there was any clutter if there was anything standing in the way the bridge is being cleared for you uh for many of you an aloe plant may be uh significant uh which may have to do with an energy of healing perhaps needing to heal from something needing to heal from Mm, childhood wounds past wounds okay all right let's see what else tell me more about this eight of pentacles as it relates to this last week of scorpio season oh la 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 okay is there any doubt is there any doubt scorpios if there was ever any doubt that you are manifesting and you are a master manifester you are a creator you are the magician if there was any if there was ever any doubt release that ish right now you're being you're being summoned by the divine to release that ish right now because this is the time that you get to realize the power of your willpower the power that is indicated within your willpower everything that you speak you have the ability to manifest not just you have the ability to manifest you are manifesting them be very careful what you speak okay be very careful what you take in your mind's eye all right <laughs> this is amazing the magician showing up twice as above so below whatever the divine means for you to have in the realm above is being brought to you below mm, and you see this um you see this page of cups here showing up upside down so for some of you there's going to be you're willing yourself to heal from some childhood wounds this is really confirmation of that there may be some childhood stuff childhood wounds that uh, you are healing from and for many of you, you know, you're looking for tangible things. You're looking, you may be looking for signs of tangible manifestations. You may feel as if uh, manifesting material possessions may be the thing that solves, you know, other, um, other challenges. The divine is letting you know that you start within and then you go without okay you 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 start within and then you go outward all right there are a lot of things for many of you that are being looked at there are a lot of things um that the divine is you know making sure to look into for you <laughs> you have a you have a great change in direction you have a great change in direction the divine is letting you know that you basically hold the wheel Okay, you're in the driver's seat at this time. Uh, you've always been, and now more so than ever, there's something about this energy of, you know, what you are manifesting. There's something about this energy of being the magician that's letting you know 
that you are currently in the driver's seat and you can see this individual it's like they're able to see everything there's no clouds through you know the window that they're looking at you're looking through a very clear window this may be an indication that you see very clearly and being able to see very clearly is allowing you to be this master manifester it's also allowing you to be in the driver's seat you get to know that whatever it is that you want whatever it is that you need <laughs> i'm hearing you can have whatever you like you can have whatever you like what's that i think that's like ti yeah you can have whatever it is that you like you're manifesting your greatest desires okay uh, let's see some things that you know let's get some specific information about some things that you're manifesting and look at this this hierophant is showing up mm -hmm. okay let's ask give us some <laughs> some information about um about this magician what is this magician trying to tell us this magician is you this magician is showing you it's a mirror reflection of who you are the magician is a mirror reflection of who you are and as you can see imagine that you are looking literally at a mirror reflection of yourself this is what you are going to be seeing in you know and this is not just the duration, the rest of Scorpio season. This is not limited to Scorpio season. And the divine is saying, especially, especially, okay, during the duration of Scorpio season, okay, this is uh, from now until November 23rd. You're literally going to be looking at yourself in the mirror, and this is what you're going to see. You're going to see some master manifester with a magician's robe the infinity symbol above you raising your hand and commanding things from above and you're just going to be watching them come below and what are they if you see what is on the magician's table it's abundance it's an energy of thinking clearly this is actually what the divine is saying you're going to be manifesting Thank you, Ashe. This is actually what you're going to be manifesting. Your manifestation is you looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing exactly who you are as the magician. Once you're able to do that, everything else is it's just going to come. Okay, I'm seeing specifically something in the matters of the heart. There's something that you've always wanted. Um, there's this energy of of love surrounding you there's this energy of a divine union surrounding you um this is this is really showing up very very clearly at this time and you may be seeing something um you know during the duration of scorpio season for many of you um it may be it not it's not necessarily limited to the 23rd uh, I'm hearing that the divine, you may also see this manifesting power continue until at least uh, the end of this month. Okay, uh, so give and take with uh, seven days, even seven days after Scorpio season, you may be seeing some things um, come to fruition. You're going to be seeing some things uh, happen for you, especially in matters of the heart. And I'm seeing this. This page of cups showing up may uh, reflect a proposal. Some of you may be um, getting proposed to. That's also showing up. You're manifesting your desires. <laughs> okay, tell me about this magician. Hmm. This magician is releasing all restrictions. This, re this magician is releasing all things that may have... Um, you see this rope? that is making this individual feel tied the divine is letting you know that for many of you for many of you what what feels very real is actually an illusion okay uh what you feel is holding you back is 
actually your mind, your own mind, making you feel paralyzed, making you feel victimized. And part of what this part of what being able to look at yourself in the mirror and seeing this magician is going to do, it's literally going to loosen the grip of this illusion. It's going to loosen the grip of, you know, the ties that you may feel are binding you. Whatever made you feel powerless, whatever made you feel like you couldn't do or you were a victim of some sort, you're going to be seeing when you look in the mirror and you see this powerful magician, you're going to be seeing exactly who and what you are. And once you see this, you see uh, the divine is saying that that tie around you is also tied to that tie around your eyes. So your ability to see exactly what it is that you need to see is going to loosen this energy of being the victim. It's going to loosen the energy of anxiety. It's going to loosen the energy of being a feeling powerless. This is why you carry this light in your hand. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You that's exactly what you're doing is this light is is so powerful. It's laser sharp. It's sharp enough to loosen to loosen whatever has had a grip on you. You see, part of what why this is also powerful, okay? Seeing this eight of swords is that for quite some time you may have felt like you were stuck. You may have felt like in this energy of being at the crossroads, not knowing where to go. Okay. And this also led to this, this, uh, eight of swords energy. Okay. Feeling very much restricted, not knowing where to go, not knowing how to proceed. Uh, this is showing up. Okay. I see an eight of cups, the eight of cups, <laughs> mm, the eight of cups, maybe, those that put you in that position of being bounded are going to regret. That's exactly what I'm hearing. You're going to be seeing that uh, those that put you in this Eight of Swords energy, they're going to be feeling a great sense of regret. Uh, and, you know, someone said in the comment that, you know, in order for them to move forward, okay, they may feel a sense of regret. Um, but are they regretting that they got caught? <laughs> <laughs> because for many, it's like they don't regret what they did. They they don't feel a sense of uh, you know empathy. They don't feel they don't feel nothing. Okay, and you know they're going to be feeling a sense of regret. And for many of them, they're they're regretting. They're they're regretting that regret that they have is that is it's. it's feeling a sense of regret because there's karma karma is biting their ass right now okay that's what they regret it's like many of them they don't regret what they did they regret the consequences of what they did okay and for many of you uh that's what's happening in the background what you don't see okay this is what you don't see this is an energy of recognition right here the star for some you're going to have some folks that actually recognize what they did. Okay. They may, and they may want some healing and, uh, Scorpios, you get to know that this star also recognizes you being recognized at this time. You have an energy of recognition. Okay. That you are manifesting. People are recognizing you. Okay, and this is a very strong energy at this time. People are recognizing you for exactly who you are. All right, they are recognizing you for exactly who you are at this time. And you're going to be seeing that, um, you know, and, I, I, and, and this is a projection. Okay, this is an, a projection, like at least until... Uh, around, you know, till the end of Scorpio season and give and take at least until the end of November, you're really going to be seeing a high energy year of recognition. You're going to be recognized for what you're doing, who you are. And this recognition 
is showing you in this energy of being this queen of wands energy. This is you possibly starting something, starting a project that you that <laughs> that you trusted your intuition and just move forward on it. This project that you trusted yourself on is bringing you not only recognition, but it's also going to really give you a lot of ashe. It's going to give you a lot of prosperity and wealth. Okay, you're manifesting prosperity and wealth um, as the magician, as this queen of wands uh, who has a really keen business sense, very confident. You trusted yourself to start something. Okay, you trusted yourself to start something. So for many of you, it may not be exactly where you want it to be quite yet. The divine is letting you know to keep at it, uh, remain, you know focus remain focus uh remain disciplined because eventually it's going to prosper it's, you're going to see the benefits of this because this is the empress energy showing up because the empress is is it's like whatever she touches turns to gold right whatever the empress touches turns to gold this is an energy of the divine feminine coming forth for many of you um you may be doing something that's helping a lot of other divine feminines at this time and you may not know it uh for many of you i'm also hearing that there's a great energy of beauty being manifested um for you at this time as well and the queen of wands is exactly that she's just you know <laughs> she's like oozing with 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 um i'm hearing sex appeal <laughs> She's oozing with sex appeal. Okay, Scorpios, you're oozing with sex appeal. Um, mm -hmm. You're also going to be able to think clearly. I'm really seeing a lot of this energy of the divine feminine coming forth. This is going to bring a lot of healing towards you. It's going to bring... Actually, the divine is also letting you know to use this divine feminine energy, this confidence, this, this mojo that you got going on to use it because that's also going to help fuel your manifesting power okay and use it how um divine feminine energy is naturally an energy of creation it's naturally an energy of manifesting uh giving birth to things realizing things that are you know hidden that are in the unknown realms uh to bringing them to to light okay so when the divine says to use that divine feminine energy that's what it's saying tap into that what this may mean is that you may do some beauty rituals do some self-care rituals that really promote your your uh you feeling good about yourself you really tapping into your nurturing creative energy your beauty okay again this is why the divine says that you being able to manifest actually starts from within and then it's going to be seeing outward um the more you feel good about you scorpios the more you tune in and tap into uh your beauty your inner beauty and feeling good about yourself that's also going to help you to connect to this energy of abundance as well okay uh let's see if there's anything else all right so there's a lot of things that you are manifesting and i know many of you are very much interested in that the 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 material wealth aspect and look at that oh <laughs> speak of that speak of the material the the emperor is like oh you you rang did you speak did you say something about material wealth look at this ace of pentacles showing up ace of pentacles showing up is an energy of financial new beginnings it's like see it's like you're seeing you're seeing this happen as we speak you speak it and that's exactly what's going to come forward whatever you speak the divine is it's like it's like rubbing this this lamp this genie lamp it's like every time you speak something <laughs> every time you speak something it's going to 
come to fruition. Speak all positivity. And look at what it says. This Knight of Cups, creative expression, what you speak. What you speak will give power to your material wealth. Your stability. Many of you are concerned about your stability. Speak those positive affirmations. Write them down. You know, my my house is exactly the way I want it to be. It's fixed. It's it's beautiful. It's uh, it's a home. You know, my family life is the way I want it to be. Um, the love that I seek is before me. Money comes to me easily. Um, I manifest at will. My words have power and I speak divine peace, love, healing, abundance. Speak the words. Creative expression. The divine is letting you know that's exactly what's going to happen. Stay focused and have that discipline as well because... Um, the faith is awesome and the discipline to, uh, produce the work that is necessary is even, even better. Okay. So that is the word of the divine, uh, for you at this time. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Creative expression. Oh, and look what just fell down. Look. Page of pentacles right behind it is the death and rebirth card having to do with your transformation and queen of pentacles right behind that and nine of cups right behind that wish fulfillment okay listen it literally like the cards just like blah 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 just fell down okay and this is an indication of how the divine is going to bring forth the blessings from uh from whatever realm it's going to come from, it's going to just be pouring, pouring, pouring um, on you. Okay, you're going to be well. I'm, I'm hearing like you're going to be oiled like a well, a well oiled machine. Okay, whatever's coming towards you, abundance, love, peace. You're going to be oiled like a well oiled machine. Okay, all right. A well, a well oiled machine, huh? That means that you're going to be able to have what you need to run smoothly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that analogy of the car is coming up again. So, yeah, you're going to be like a well oiled machine so that when you're in the driver's seat and you are manifesting and you are producing everything that you've you've always wanted before your eyes, you're going to be running very smoothly while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. okay raw intersection of heaven and earth number five five is an indication of change okay it's time to make that change okay so the circle cross of tanan is saying all right your plans and purpose are aligned with greater cosmic forces. Whether you see it coming or not, things will fall into place and what you've been working towards will come to fruition. A rare intersection of heaven and earth will result in a precious manifestation of grace. The divine shall correct a situation that is in need of realignment. Fear not, pray boldly and be faithful. All is well. Okay. What else can you say after that? It's like you began with manifestation and the divine is like sealing the deal here with this ancestor speaking regarding be patient, have no fear. It's coming. You are going to manifest what you've always wanted. And this is confirmation of this. All right. And I'm also led to... Uh, pick something from here all right let's see i'm also being led to pick something from here okay okay ancestors give us a word of wisdom regarding this reading 
become who you were born to be. That's what I'm hearing. Become who you were born to be. Okay. Become who you were born to be. Okay. Let's see. Words of wisdom regarding this reading. Okay. <laughs> Yamaya awakening. Okay. So 40. So Yamaya is saying this. Wake up, awaken now to your true self. You're vibrating at a higher frequency, so you see everything differently. This is Goddess Rising. You're waking up, and once you've experienced awakening, you can never go back to not knowing. The Goddess Declaration, I am receiving and radiating love. This energy of receiving that's showing up right now through Yemaya, okay, uh, showed up through this as well. This energy of receiving an energy of manifesting. Look at that. This is this is an energy of the Empress, like being abundant and ready to bring forth all that that is, you know, a desire, all that is meant for you. OK, and, you know, the power of water. Many of you um, hearing that you may need to do some water rituals um in terms of manifesting speak to the water that you drink at this time before you drink it um infuse your water with the manifesting power that you desire the manifesting power that you foresee this is very um life-giving okay and the uh the divine is also saying to assure that you drink a lot of water at this time so that way you're able to uh, be I'm hearing a conduit for this manifestation uh, energy that is very very strongly showing up for you and that is the word of the divine if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace and divine light